As the science has become more clear and the attribution of human activity, human economic activity to climate change, as those links have become more and more uh, clear to researchers, um, for asset owners and asset managers who are interested in investing across the entire economy, um, the risk that accrues to climate change is also spread across the entire economy. So there are fewer and fewer places for capital to hide uh, and for you to uh, sequester your investments from the types of global changes that are, uh, that are, are increasingly becoming evident as, as the signal of climate change increases above the noise, the background noise that's inherent in the markets. So when investors start to look at managing these risks, they need to take a look at what they can do to be part of the solution uh, in helping drive investments into things that will help mitigate climate change, that will help uh, deal with some of the, the, the uh, resiliency and adaptation changes that we're going to, to take, need to be taking, and to, where possible, marry those two things so that the investments of the future will not only help build resiliency, but will also help uh, reduce the dangerous emissions that are causing the problem. So, um, so th this this is not um, uh, a fringe activity. This is increasingly becoming mainstream and and central to the global risk calculations that investors are going to need to make. And so the the investments that the investors who are coming through the uh, the uh, the PDC uh, are increasingly looking to uh, be part of that solution. Investors have a bigger toolbox than they may think. Um, there are some uh, investors who have uh, taken the full step of decarbonizing their portfolios, which is certainly what the, uh, the, the goal of the PDC would be, that you find ways to replicate your returns by, uh, by taking uh, carbon intensive activities, high emitting activities out of your portfolios to the degree you possibly can. But that's not the only tool that's available. You can look, you can look at the ways in which your uh, investments are incentivizing the new economy that we're trying to build vis-a-vis via, 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 uh, clean energy investing, vis-a-vis via efficiency, and all of the alternatives that are now uh, achieving market parity and that we'll need to get to scale to address the problem. Um, you can, if you're an asset owner, engage with the companies that you own. You can reach out, you can, you can do dialogue with the companies as an owner and begin to talk about ways in which the company can begin to uh, adapt its business model, to make changes, to reduce its, its emissions. Uh, there's a broad toolkit and investors should be engaging in all of those things in a way to, uh, to help deal with the, the challenge because the challenge is so large, we're going to need a large toolkit to really tackle it. So we're sitting here today at Columbia University. There's a little over $6 trillion of assets under management in the room uh, talking about uh, leadership stories, talking about the ways in which they're using their toolbox to deal with the challenge in their portfolios. Um, those investors are reaching out to their peers, their peer CEOs, their peer CIOs, they're, um, they're, they're a, a node of, of, of um, investors who are interested in, in actually taking action, um, and other investors can be drawn to that. Uh, other investors can work with them, alongside them. Uh, the, the, the PDC is intended to be a place where uh, investors are not left out alone to do the things that they need to do. It's a place that's intended to be a group, a place where you can learn from your peers, a place where you can actually build best practices yourself and how to deal with this and to work at the peer-to-peer -peer level in order to help achieve the change.